I don't think you know what I'm saying. But um, we are right now in El Mozote, which is a caserío or a hamlet of a town called Nianguera, um, which has jurisdiction in this area. Um, this is this is the site of the largest massacre that the hemisphere has ever seen. Um, it took place over a period of days, starting on December 9th and ended on December 11th of 1981. Um, and in total, 900 people were killed more or less. That doesn't sound like a hamlet, I understand, but a lot of these people came from the neighboring hamlets because um, the military was doing an operation in this whole region and they were told that Morazan as a department was going to be on lockdown and that nobody was going in or out for a period of several weeks. Um, and so a lot of people fled, they went to Honduras. Um, however, El Mosote as a hamlet community um, were evangelicals and evangelicals survived very well during the war because they decided not to take any sides. And because this was a purely evangelical um, hamlet, their safety was guaranteed. So, and because of that, they had a lot of people coming in from everywhere else, and the population of the town, like, doubled. Um, and unfortunately, their safety was not guaranteed. Um, we can't really confirm what happened, whether it was a misunderstanding, or the military wasn't informed, or it was just an outright betrayal. Um, but when the military came in with this, it went in a series of three days. Everyone that was here was killed and the town was destroyed to such an extent that people, even today, there are people that deny that this place ever existed. Um, because after so many years of war, the jungle just closed in on the whole place. There is actually one example of an older house over there that's an original house of this hamlet, but all this is all new and it was vacated until after um, the peace accords were signed. And when the peace accords were assigned, they brought in a group of Argentine um, archaeologists that have, had done um, excavation work in other parts of the world where, you know, vast, you know, ma um, grave abuses of human rights have taken place. And um, when we went to the museum, there was a picture of them excavating mm -hmm. that church, which wasn't there originally, but that's where um, the children were mostly killed. And those are most of the bodies that they found with the children because um, most of the bodies were burned and, you know, they're decomposed a lot more easily when after they're kind of burned. And um, most of the, the women and younger girls were taken to the mountains, raped and killed there. So there wasn't, you know, like a pile of bodies to uncover. Um, it was, you know, intermittent, you know, here's a body, there's a body. But after 12 years, those remains are a lot more difficult to find. Um, so, and this, and they've rebuilt the church. Um, this is what it looks like now. But there are stone steps in front of the church where you'll see there's a plaque. And that, those are, that's the original floor um, of the church. Um, and then there's this monument here with the names of everyone that was killed and their age. Um, and the, the structure that you see with the man, the woman, and you know, them holding hands with their children, that's the, like the international um, icon for El Mosote. And the whole theme of El Mosote is El Mosote Nunca Mas, or El Mosote Never Again. Um, and then on the side of the church, they have what's called um, El Jardín de los Inocentes, which is the Garden of the Innocent, um, because this is where the children were you know, separated, taken from their parents and killed. Um, they have a mural that you're going to go through and see, and it's a garden only dedicated to the children. They have a mural, and they have along the bottom um, all their names and ages of the children that they were found. And I think it's like you want to say something. <laughs>